I thank the gentleman for yielding. And Mr. Speaker, this is a critical time in our nation's history. People are worried about their health and that of their loved ones. They're wondering how long this new way of life will last. But people across our great nation are coming together. I've seen the response in my own district where yesterday would have been opening day and the Cincinnati Reds remain undefeated. From the bold leadership of Ohio's Governor Mike DeWine and Department of Health Director Dr. Amy Acton, to the brave health care workers on the front lines of facilities like the University of Cincinnati Medical Center and the local companies who have volunteered to produce much needed personal protective equipment, these men and women are heroes, risking their lives and livelihoods so that their fellow citizens may continue to live as comfortably and as normally as possible during this trying time. As a ranking member of the House Small Business Committee, I want to single out the contribution of this nation's small businesses. For those that have had to temporarily close or that have bravely stayed open to provide life-sustaining supplies, I want you to know that there is help in this bill. We have come together in this legislation to help our entrepreneurs who so urgently need it. Small businesses and their employees often rise before the sun and retire under the stars to ensure that their customers' needs are met and often exceeded. Along the way, the Small Business Administration, or SBA, is charged with assisting the nation's smallest firms. When disasters strike, the SBA helps businesses get back on their feet. As we face the unprecedented challenge of the COVID-19, we must ensure that small businesses have the resources needed to weather that storm. They are being forced to make tough choices to protect themselves, their employees, and their customers. They're laying off staff who are like family to them cutting hours when workers need them most and closing their doors after years or even decades of successful operation. To alleviate these enormous pressures, the CARES Act, this legislation, creates a new program specifically designed to respond to the current crisis. That program, the Paycheck Protection Program, provides $350 billion for 100 percent federally guaranteed loans for up to eight weeks of assistance. These loans can be forgiven when used for payroll, interest on mortgage, rent, and utilities. The CARES Act also creates a deferment payment on current 7A loans. The SBA will pay all principal interest and fees for those small businesses for up to six months. These payment obligations will be completely forgiven and removed from a borrower's books. Finally, the bill permits small business owners who have applied for an SBA economic injury disaster loan to request in advance $10,000. Thank you for helping small businesses in this act.